Hello Aries, how are you? Welcome into your daily reading. If you want to have a free personal reading done, comment below with your zodiac sign because in every daily reading that I do, I answer one person's question. I will randomly choose a number, go for that person and answer. There is somebody today, so if you want to know if your question has been answered, you have asked before, uh, check around, stick around, do not check around, stick around until the end of the reading and see if your question has been chosen. There is someone, so let's see who it is today. Um, remember, if it you want to be that person for maybe tomorrow or even the following day because these readings come out almost daily okay whenever you receive the reading is when you're meant to hear it so let's see currently for you Aries let's get into the general part of the reading what is your be if I can shuffle these cards oh, no let's just do this what is your um your current challenge right now with regards to at this point in time you're receiving the reading let's go in here and have a look for you your current challenge right now aries would be let's see what we have here what you're you're looking for happiness right now you're looking for happiness you're looking for success and you're looking for growth so if this is your challenge that means you are maybe finding it a bit hard to get there um Let's see what your spirit guides have got to say. Let's have a look. Spirit guides, show us what we need to see here. Because the sun card talks about, you know, to have that happiness, to have that peace, to have that success that you're looking for. Because it also means growth in life as well. So let's see. You've got a four of swords that has come out here. Let's get some more clarification cards out there, spirit guides. Four of swords coming out here. You've been holding back with regards to something. But you've been holding back because you've been hurt. So you've been hurt somewhere in the past. Yeah, you're holding back. You've been going through a process almost of a quiet time I can kind of say like more being introverted kind of energy coming from this card but I feel like this is a process that you've been through that's more like healing I don't think you maybe even know that you've been healing maybe you've just been in this energy of not really wanting to be around people wanting to be less social you may even be a bit afraid if you're still in this energy to really make those important moves that you need to make to be able to get to this place of actual growth again in your life and that happiness energy this always reminds me of yellow because of that sun you know so let's see what else comes up look at the hurt and pain so you're in this energy because you've been really really hurt by other people you've been really hurt by other people and not just hurt like oh i'm so sorry i didn't mean to break your heart it's almost like people intentionally came out there to do things to you to hurt you and you know to go for your happiness yeah it's almost like you're holding back this energy of maybe like you're afraid to really dream again you're afraid to even go for it again because you're afraid it may happen again so let's see for you what we do not see coming let's read the energy on the bottom of the deck oh yes oh aries yes where you have the nine of swords now you have the nine of cups what you don't see coming is happiness is coming happiness is here Ah, fair treatment, getting what you deserve. You're going to let this go. This is beautiful. You're letting this go. You see this? This, I told you, I felt it from here. This four of swords where you've been hurt. There's a reason why you like this. Show shut off from everyone. It's actually the shut off feeling that you're having. It's part of the healing process, like to, cut, to shut yourself down from everyone. But yeah, you got the pain. Yeah, you have it. You're letting it go. Ten of wands, letting this go. You're going to experience some nice happiness coming in in your life. You've got a nine of cups coming in here. Um, there's, you know, there's a lady that's meditating here. So I kind of like feel you yourself are going to be taking a lot better care of yourself. You're also going to be finding a place almost like where you find that peace, that kind of like feeling of being in the right place at the right time there's an energy shift complete energy shift in your reading that's what i'm picking up on going from that nine of negativity to this nine of positive i'm feeling this like really flip happening to you it's almost like the flipping of the coin and i i feel like you're releasing this very very quickly to honestly i will tell you the truth there's an element of here yeah, of six of pentacles coming in there could be a person comes in here that you might surprise you uh there's a person coming in that's going to be very balanced. I almost pick up this like Libra kind of vibe, even though there's no card for Libra. I'm just picking up the scales energy. And um, there's some kind of very good fair treatment coming towards you. It can even be monetary payout that really puts you at peace. Okay. If you have any kind of monetary or money coming in here, um, even long term, it's like what you give is what you're receiving. So you work hard, you get money back. That's just as equally as the work that you've put in and even better sometimes. I feel like you're making your environment, your home, 
like a place of peace and harmony, which is very nice. Um, this can also be a person approaching you. And if this is a new person coming in here, this is really good because this person is giving and taking of energy with you, not just taking and you're just giving. It's a very balanced, nice thing. It's a person that wants to do the right thing. You're totally leaving this behind. It is very beautiful. I love it a lot. So let's see for today. <laughs> we have Alexandra Petra. How are you, Alexandra? You say, thank you for the reading. You are Aries and this is about a love situation. So let's have a look and see what this challenge is and then see what you do not see coming here. Love situation for Alexandra. What is the main challenge here with regards to this love situation? Somebody's way too slow to commit to you. Um, it doesn't mean that they're not alive. They're not there. Yes, they're alive. They're around there. But the slowness of this commitment, because this pentacles, this knight of pentacles is basically almost standing still. And sometimes they... I don't know if they use it as an excuse to just stand still in life and maybe not get into commitment. Sometimes they can have a bit of fear of commitment and that's what makes that night go so slow. It's not like there is no actions whatsoever. Yes, there is, but very slow. It's almost like promises of the future and it, it's commitment issues mainly. Very slow moving. You know, this can indicate years, hey? Pentacles can indicate years of change that's going to be happening because this is a card of action so it talks about what somebody's what their actions are and you're looking at somebody's actions showing itself over a period of a year or more <laughs> so that's quite hectic okay um let's see what's going on here three of wands energy changes need to happen yeah the sun card growth is too slow both of these cards are in the reverse position uh three of wands somebody's not doing the right thing here and it's this night it's this night here. It's the growth of your relationship would be represented by the sun card. Now, because of the three of wands, that's the inspiration in this deck, it shows that that growth, there's not actual physical steps being taken to get to the where it's meant to be. So this is too slow. This is like waiting for life to happen to me. I'm going to sit back and everything will just unfold without really taking control of life and making decisions and doing it. I feel like it's this... This person, this, this night's energy. That's why the growth is not the way it's meant to be. So let's see what you don't see coming. There's going to be some kind of release of a situation here. Ten of Wands is here. So this indicates letting go of something, letting go of a stressful situation. What else is coming in here? I feel like you're going to hold back your energy on this person. Yeah, because they're hurting you too much. Yeah, Alexandra. Uh, ten of inspiration coming up here literally means releasing something. And then having the Four of Swords, literally very similar cards to what we just had. With the Nine of Voices being here and the Four of Swords, everything unfolds in perfectly order. And I feel like you're honestly releasing a little bit of what you've been experiencing, worried about this connection. I feel like you're holding back. Um, I'm going to ask, is this over for you? I want to see. Or is this what is needed to get this person? Because I've got to pick up a vibe. Maybe this is the shift that's needed in you to get this person to kind of like rethink. Is this is this over for you? Or is this going to be able to go forward if you change how you're doing things? Uh, -uh there's conflict here. I see conflict here. Five of Swords. Two different, conf two different ways of doing things. You want it this way. He wants it that way. And, uh, or, you know, either which way it is. And I see you guys kind of being in conflict with each other. It doesn't mean it cannot be sorted out. But I think for now, it's more about you needing to pull your energy back and actually heal from the situation that you've been in with them. Um, they're still going to be at loggerheads with you. With regards to you going, you know, let us be in this connection. Let us move forward. And there's some kind of differences of point of view that the two of you have got as well. It's obviously, I think it's about that commitment, that Knight of Pentacles. It's way too slow. They kind of like just want to keep here in that reverse position, not really making the moves that they meant to be making. And that for you, that shows no growth for you. And that's what the conflict is going to be. So Alex, Alexandra, I'm sorry, it's not exactly maybe what you want to hear. Um, uh, you know, do what's right for you at the end of the day. Uh, don't stay in this nine of voices energy. Do not stay there. You might have to think about your own energy and how you're feeling and how this is affecting you in a long, long run. Okay. So thank you so much for coming in. I really hope that helps to answer your question. Um, if there's no movement from them, then you might have to pull yourself back from it as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.